in this budget with me, y'all, we got some things to talk about. I had a few increases with my mortgage and my cell phone bill. So we're going to really be doing a reset on this budget with me for June. Let's get into it. Hey everybody, I'm Tasha from the Major Change Group, where we believe small changes can create big results. And if this is your first time on the channel, welcome. We talk about credit, budgeting, and student loans. Well, y'all, like I said in the beginning of the video, this is going to be more so of a recent kind of video for my budget, because I just don't know what is going on. <laughs> now, my birthday, me and my sister, I have a twin sister. Our birthday was at the end, kind of like at the end of May. So I don't know if I was just still, you know, kind of from that, but we gonna have to reset ourselves. <laughs> so today I'm gonna be using my 2021 digital budget planner and you can always go down to the description. You can get my free budget and debt repayment template. So we're gonna get into some things, but first, now I was saying that my mortgage, so y'all, when I was paying my mortgage for this month, I knew that I was gonna pay the 501 because we had discussed that in the May budget. So I, instead of me doing the bill pay to pay my mortgage, I actually went onto the website to make the payment. So, cause I was gonna make the payment, plus I was gonna pay the shortage for the escrow. Y'all, I don't know how I ended up paying two months of mortgage, 775 and 501 or 502 for the escrow. So I'm not going to have to make a payment until August, which is great, but it's just like, oh, uh, how did I do that? But the good thing about it is, is that most of my bills I do pay on my credit card. So I'm still good with that. And plus, y'all know I'm still in the savings challenge where we're saving $5,000 in 26 weeks and it is coming up. The end of this month is going to be 26 weeks, six months. But I still have a little bit of savings in another account. So, you know, I'm so grateful that I didn't cause an overage on the account. And that is great. But not being able to have to pay the mortgage in July, that's going to be good too. Since I paid the overage, I'm only going to have to now pay $735 for my mortgage opposed to $708. Now, that is going to be a $27 difference, but, you know, maybe 2022 when they do the escrow again, hopefully I'll get a check back opposed to having to pay like I did this time. And additionally, with my cell phone bill, since I have me the iPhone 12 now, um, my bill previously was $90.38, and now this month going forward is going to be 113.10 so that's going to be an increase of i think 26 dollars somewhere off in there so gonna have some things to think about so let's go on over to my laptop where we're gonna start our budget All right y'all we're going to come over here to my 2021 digital budget planner and the budget planner is broken down into four parts. So we have our income, our top five goals, our notes, and our expenses. And so first what I want to do, I want to put a goal. And my goal, the only goal I've been worrying about right now is the savings challenge. The 2021 major change group, 26 week, $5,000 savings challenge. And coming up on the end of it, and so I'm going to be saving $900. And nine dollars yes also I have a, a note that I want to remind myself so I have a three hundred and seventy dollar claim and I need to check my FSA to see how much I have in there I think I have about 115 or so dollars, but I need to check that out. So I want to make sure to do that. I got to remind myself. I'm not going to put it in this budget, but I want to just make sure that I check it. So that's something that I need to do. So next, we're going to come over here to my income. And the income, you have four different areas. I am going to put all of my income in one, but... 
if you have your salary, your side hustle, some other money, then you would put it in there that way. So I'm just gonna put my salary. So now we're coming over here to the expenses. And so remember my mortgage, that was 708, but now after I paid the escrow, they're gonna make the bill go up to 735 just so maybe next year for 2022 well really 2021 i won't have an overage so that is gonna be 735 which is an additional what 27 dollars now y'all know on my car note i have been wanting to pay it off within 30 months even though i had a 60 month loan and i'm really on track to do it a lot quicker and so with the savings challenge money i'm gonna put that on the car so that's gonna take it down but we'll get into that a little bit more when we get into the debt repayment so next i have my utilities and that's gonna include the water the cable and my nes bill so that's gonna be 178.57 and then my verizon okay so that was normally ninety dollars and 41 cents and so now that's gonna be 113.10 because i had to end up getting well i guess i didn't have to but i got the iphone 12 and i got the i still have unlimited but i went up a notch and so that made the bill go up plus I ended up getting a deal to where I was able to trade in my phone and they gave me like $600, but I couldn't pay the phone off. So what I did, I ended up paying my portion, but I, it looked like it still might be a little bit left. And so they're going to give me a credit for like 24 to 30 months. So that's good. So it just made the bill go up a little bit more but i was glad to be able to get six hundred dollars for my iphone 6s because i was just like what because <laughs> i was going to keep my iphone 6s because i thought that was only going to give me like a hundred dollars for it but when i went in there they ended up giving me more so now my verizon is um the bill is about 27 dollars or so more 22 something like it and then i have subscriptions and so my subscriptions that's for my um i i have apple music that's 9.99 i have youtube to where i don't have to hear the ads and so that's 15.99 and then i have storage through my phone um apple and that's 2.99 okay let's see what else do we have and then i'm gonna do debt so with my debt i've been paying a little bit extra on my car i just been paying the the interest so whatever the interest is on the car that's what i've been paying and then when I get extra money in, then I make those large payments. So I think that's it. Let me check it out. And then we'll get this all tallied up. Okay, so now we got it tallied up. And that is 3186.0. Okay, so that is an extra 265.69. And while I normally like to do a zero-based budget, what I'll do is I'll just see if um, check out my FSA to see how much of a difference with the 370 and maybe I can um, pay that off. So we'll have to take a look. And so, yeah, so that's how my budget is looking. Like I said in the beginning, this is more so of a reset just to get me kind of back on track from the month of may going over budget and so now we're going to move over to the debt repayment 
looking at my debt repayment y'all look at my car loan so now i owe fourteen thousand eight hundred and eight dollars and i had purchased my car in october for twenty thousand two hundred and ninety nine dollars and my goal was to pay it off in 30 months but once i put this five thousand dollars on it look that's gonna be under ten thousand so that is looking really good and my monthly payment is three fifty seven ninety five. dollars On my mortgage, I owe $107,637. And my monthly payment now is 357 dollars Then coming over to my student loans, I owe $56,200. And there's no payment right now. So that's about $1,092.95 that I'm paying a month. That's the minimum payment. And so what I want to do with my debt snowball, I want to start off with my smallest to my largest. But if you want to do your largest to your smallest, you can do it that way. And so my car note is the smallest at $357.95. And so I'm going to make a $390 payment on that and then still make my regular mortgage payment. So then that's going to be $1,125. And things are looking good. So I'm very excited on the progress that I have made on paying my car down. I'm really thinking that I'm going to be able to pay it down by the rest of this year. Hopefully the student loans, <laughs> there'll still be no payment and no interest until the end of the year. But for right now, they have only extended it until September. So monthly payments will resume by October 1st. But I hope not. We'll have to see. So that is my budget right now. But let me know how your budget is doing. Like I said, I'm going to be doing a reset this month so I can get back on track. You know, even though I budget every month, sometimes, you know, things get a little crazy sometimes. And you have to reset yourself. So that's what I'm doing. I reset myself. But let me know in the comments. How did your June budget go? How are you doing? But I hope that this was helpful to you. Please like, subscribe, share with a friend, and turn your notification bell on so that you will be the first to be notified when new content comes out. And I thank you so much for watching. Until next time. It's not a game. It's a